now that we know that it's not me, yeah. I got to see yo, everybody's yo, real feelings. And, and, and it's their choice. Like, if they want to wear something on their head to make them feel more secure, mm -hmm. that's not okay. But your cheeks being out in minus 30 degrees weather <laughs> is woman empowerment. I, in my opinion, 9-11 was an inside job. Why are you guys always make us in the movies look like the bad guys? Like, but guess what? I've never seen one movie where the white guy is going into the school with an AR-15. Polar bears. <laughs> 40. Yeah. Let's get it popping here, man. Yeah, man. Back at it. It's your boy Friday, Ricky Dredd, here with another interview for your head top. Before I get into it, I want to give a quick couple of salutes to the sponsors. Big salute to Diamond Club. They got delivery of the loudest loud all over the GTA. Hit them up on their Instagram page, Diamond Club underscore Canada. Or you can find them on the Seven Days of Weed website. Use the code We Love Hip Hop and get yourself a little discount. You heard me? Also, I'm sweating, bro. Um, if you need that blem, hit up steaming hot grab. Okay, all different types of flavors of uh, grab. Different ways that you could dispense the grab. Hit them up on their Instagram page, steaming hot grab, and let them know that the We Love Hip Hop Boy sent you, and uh, they'll get to give you a little discount. Just you heard me. But um, like I said in the beginning of this, man, I love tapping in and and getting an update on what's going on with this gentleman, as well as like a lot of the, the, the rappers in this scene that I've been seeing doing their thing. And bro, you've been doing your thing crazy, especially over the last two years, fam. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you very much, you know? So Just with no further ado, we have the return of Roadrunner in the building. I'm, I'm getting high to feel this happiness, but I know there's a downside. You Roadrunner! Jeez. Listen, right off top, before we even um, start anything, bro, because, mm. you know, like I, we be seeing each other on these blog pages and stuff For like sure. that. Yeah. And I'd be out here doing my lives, doing my interviews and stuff. Mm. I asked other guests this. Is there anything that, was, that I pissed you off about in the last few years that you're like, Freddie, what, what are you saying, bro? Uh... I think not, not really. I just like how you're not like too biased, you know, like mm. you just speak on certain shit. Like some, some, some bloggers, they, they, they tend to be a little scared when it comes to blogging, you know, mm. or I see a lot of like, a lot of like glazing going on in the city, you know, like <laughs> too much glazing is not good, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. If we're going to glaze, glaze both sides, my brother, you know? Yeah, it'd be um, an equal glaze opportunity. Yeah, like, like make sure you're gla gla you're glazing properly. No homo, you know. But yeah, um, I see a lot of like, yeah, a lot. Of, I don't know. I don't know if it's because it's out of like, if if people are scared. I don't know what it is. Well, man. well listen, fam. I I just want to know because you know I I feel that the conversation that. I have with you and different artists that we do repeat interviews. Mm -hmm. Those are different than just, oh, you know, finding out about your life from the beginning and end. Now it's just like you just chop it up and find out what's going Fact. on, period, right? Fact. I seen you purchased a crib, bro. So I got approved for a crib. Mm. I never purchased a crib yet. I'm still looking. Okay. Uh, because it's um because it's not like I'm buying a shirt, you know? Mm. Or it's not like I'm buying a like say for I'm not just not a car. This is something that like, and I'm buying it uh for the sole purpose of hopefully like making money off it soon. You know? Yeah. Cause I don't I don't, I don't really care to like. I'm not too big on like buying a house to live in it. Mm -hmm. I'm more keen on having real estate to build equity. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And 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 build my portfolio and things like that. So yeah, I did get approved. Uh, I just been shopping around to see what fits perfectly, what I could make money on in the next few years, you know? Yeah, fam. Can, can we stay on that for a quick second? Because yeah, I'm into sure. that shit, right? Yeah, for sure. Like, I, you know, I, I'm a landlord. I've, I have uh -huh. a few tenants. I have a ten tenants in Montreal, tenants over here. Uh -huh. And it's like when you're looking for tenants and looking for places for the, for those things, you have to make sure you get something that you can at least make some money back. Money, when yeah. you, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Exactly, you know? Are you? The market out here, fam, what's that looking like to you right now? Is it it's, it's crazy because um, it, for practically for, say, for 450, 500, say for a condo, mm -hmm. um, say you get approved for 500, okay? 
um, you're getting a shoebox. Mm. You're getting, you're literally getting a shoebox. Like you're, you're gonna walk in there. The sh- kitchen is right by the door. There's one little bedroom. There's one little washroom. And if you're living with your significant other, I promise you, there's gonna be bare body heat. And all you guys are gonna do is fight. Yeah, yeah, just yeah. bare pure body heat. You know, just yeah. you're gonna fight your girl, and you're gonna be like, "Where do I go?" Like, yeah. You can only go from the sofa to the bed, bro. <laughs> Damn, I've seen some places. You where can't it... even go to the kitchen because the kitchen is in the living room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fam, I've seen situations where there's like two, three roommates in one of those type of places, bro. Oh, yeah. That's that's the international students. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an international student. <laughs> I've seen places like that. You get what I'm trying to say? Shout out to them, you know, but I've been, I've been to some of those places. Then, Yo, I... Okay, there's a difference between having like a small space mm-hmm. and then living unsanitary. Yeah. Okay. It's almost like a cell. Yeah. yeah. Well, you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Like there's two different types of people, people who live clean and then people who just live unsanitary. Like bro, clean up your shit, bro. Care about your surroundings. I, mean, I don't know. I, I don't know about other people, but like if my, if, if my like room's a mess or like my living room's a mess, I get anxiety. Mm-hmm. Like I want to like clean up, clean up, clean up. Like, I need this shit like clean, you know? Yeah, I'm the same, man. Yeah, like I can't have like no like flies flying around and shit. Like that shit's dirty. You know? Yeah, like, man. Brother, like come on, brother. Like, what is this? But you, you know, know one other it's thing. It's Canada, brother. Yeah, yeah. And and I get aggravated too when the when the room's messy, fam. Yeah, it's like, and especially if you're like living with other people and they're not cleaning the room, bro. Box you. Get out of here. Like <laughs> what? <laughs> you're not gonna clean up after yourself? Like, oh, come on, man. man. Well, okay, but even like I'm watching, I'm, I be watching the gram. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I seen a post where you got some backlash the other day, fam. Can from, we talk about that, bro? From, from. It was from like, it. you were talking to oh, a white you know, you know what the thing is? I get backlash from every post. <laughs> Yo! So you gotta, spe- you gotta specify which post it was. Okay. So there was the one you're in your car. Oh, you're talking okay, to a white okay, guy okay. outside the car. Yeah. Yeah. And then you got backlash from the Indian community for that. Okay. So, yo, this, this, will ha- yeah, of course I got backlash from the Indian community because I turned the man Muslim. Okay. <laughs> so, yo, this is a problem here, right? First of all, like it's none of their business. Second of all, okay. A man comes up to me. Okay. He says, yo, brother, I'm Muslim. I said, okay, brother, you're Muslim. Okay, what steps did you take to become Muslim? Mm -hmm. You get what I'm trying to say? Because I can wake up tomorrow and say I'm Muslim. Okay, but there's certain steps you have to take in order to become Muslim. You get what I'm trying to say? And one of those steps is saying the uh, Shahada, which I looked at him and I said, have you said it? He said, no. So I said, all right, brother, you're Muslim, right? He said, yeah. I said, all right, I'm going to make you real Muslim today. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. So repeat after me. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. He repeated after me. I never put a knife to his neck. I never told him, yo, you have to do this. Mm -hmm. I said, brother, like, do you want to do this? He said, yeah. I said, repeat after me. Yeah, I get good rewards. He was happy. I was happy. Everybody was happy except for the Indians. So what does it look like? Like, are you getting, besides the comments? I never saw that, but was it the Indians that were mad at me in the comments? Yeah, yeah. But did you get DMs about it and stuff? Oh, I get DMs all the time. What does that look like, fam? Like, Yo, honestly, like when, I first, when I first when I first started, it was like annoying. Now it's like I just laugh it off, like it's so funny, you know. Like it's just I, it's it's funny to me now. But I get all sorts of DMs. I tend not to go to into my request too much mm. because I feel like that's where like these kids and and and, and these uh, uh, fake accounts behind like uh, no DPS try to get the best of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I try not even like looking at looking at it because i'm like bro what am i gonna see there it's nothing like it's low vibration energy like have you ever slipped though and say you know what let me just take a look and then you i have, click I, ha- on. I have a couple times and it pisses me off and then i'm like bro never again you know yeah. never again never, never again, again you know? <laughs> trust yeah. me fam yeah because you'll see something like yo you're a yo you're a you're a goof yeah watch when i see you and yeah. i'm like <laughs> so yo you know what's happened like yo remember that one time i said that yo uh, punjabi rappers are cap right yes mm-hmm. yeah paper yo let me tell you something about those guys though the punjabi scene mm. cap what cap 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 if you listen to their lyrics cap cap all they do is lie lie about their lifestyle <laughs> it's so bad bro like it's 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 gotten so bad they just cap out of their mouths but i don't know so, yo fam i don't know why in the world these guys thought that i'm talking about the whole like um ethnicity mm-hmm. but i'm not 
I was talking about the rappers and I keep having to specify this and I wasn't even talking about all the rappers. Yeah. I said there's some of them that do that do that do be doing that. Same thing with Hollywood too. Like same thing with rap. A lot of people Period. with rap be doing that too. You get what I'm trying to say? I just feel like in the uh, Punjabi community is done a little more and I spoke on it and I still stand on what I said, bro. Ain't, ain't nothing changed, you know? Yeah, and you do music and 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 work with like I different work Punjabi with, artists. I work, I work with them, bro. Yes. You know what I'm trying to say? So, so what, what did the backlash look like after that post? Oh, it was like, oh, uh, Islam is poison. And um, yeah, man, I see all sorts of shit. Oh, Islam is poison, like a bunch of like terrorist jokes and all sorts of, bro, I, I get a lot of crazy shit in my DMs. That's different shit though. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I we yeah. both get backlash type of post. Yeah. But I'm not I'm getting, oh, you're an old head, da 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 da. da Soft. Right? These guys don't even make it past 19. But but you you get cultural shit, fam. Oh yeah, all the time. What the f Yeah, I got I got some racist shit, bro. Like what's some racist shit you've seen in a comment, bro? Uh like that, like shit like that. Oh, Prophet Mo they they'll talk about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, a lot, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, they'll say Islam is poison. They'll say, Oh, you guys marry your cousins. What? Yeah, like it's crazy, crazy stuff. And are these accounts that like I don't know, I don't real think accounts. You like real. You, have you ever clicked on the account? Yeah, real. It's usually real shit, eh? Yeah, it's usually <sighs> you know, I've noticed that um it's usually uh the um, not my Punjabi brother, brothers. I love my Sikhs. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I I've I've noticed that's usually like the Indians, like um, the actual Indians, yeah. like from Hindustan. Yeah, it's, it's those guys. Shout out to them. Though. I still love them. Mm -hmm. I hope God guides you. You get what I'm trying to say. But um, yeah, like I don't think Islam is poison. Do I look like poison to you, Broski? No, no fam. Right. Fam, to be honest, like I think we're on our third or fourth conversation now, or maybe yeah. we might be going on to our fifth one. Yeah. Part of the reason, besides like you being a dope artist, fam, is like yeah. because you're a cool dig, bro. You're a cool dude, yeah, fam. Facts, like facts, you brought me to your hood, fam. Like we walked around the hood. Like, I was safe and shit, bro. Yeah, like, we walked around the hood. Like everything was cool. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Everybody I come across has just been like, I've been just righteous. You get what I'm trying to say? So, fam, you're giving away freaking ice creams and shit in the hood, bro. Exactly, exactly. And you and still got backlash from that. I, I got backlash from that too. Um, and that's even besides the point. It's just like in general, just being a good human being. It's like the ice given out ice cream has nothing to do with it. You know, mm. it's just like just being a righteous person, being good to everybody. But you know what it is, man? Like people feel like. I don't know what it is, but people feel like. Um, there's this perception around Muslims, you know, mm -hmm. around the world where they think that, oh, we're the bad guys, but we're not really the bad guys. We've been people have been doing bad to us for the longest time. Like, if you can go anywhere in the world, you can go to America right now. Um, and, like, that's why I say our black brothers and Muslims, we, like, it's, it's we feel, we, like, we go through the same problems mm. because we get, like, problems just like, like, in America, black people have it hard sometimes. Yeah, in America, yeah, yeah. Muslims have it really hard, you know? Yeah. Um, in some places of the world, black people have it hard. Muslims have it real hard. Mm -hmm. Like, and 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 I think it's France. You can, a woman can't even wear a hijab. Really? So you're telling me a female can go out butt naked? It's okay, okay. But the minute she cho chooses to wear a scarf, it's a problem. Yeah, something sacred. And and, and it's their choice. Like if they want to wear something on their head to make them feel more secure, mm -hmm. that's not okay. But your cheeks being out. And minus 30 degrees weather <laughs> is woman empowerment. Yeah. Somehow, somewhere that's woman empowerment. But you can't wear the scarf on your head because boom, boom, boom. You might just yeah. boom, boom, boom the place. You know? Like, that's all these guys here. Like, it's crazy, you know? You know a lot of that shit, though, is post 9-11 talk. Yeah, but it, even, okay, okay. So even then, like, I, in my opinion, 9-11 was an inside job. Mm. Like, bro, you're, um, it's America, okay? You guys are the most technological, like most advanced in technology in the world. You guys, how do you guys let two planes go into the tallest buildings in the in, in like your country? With no security. With no security. Yeah. Like and 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 planes have those things where like people are watching it, like like where they're going and mm -hmm, shit, you know? Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. they use that to get into Afghanistan. They use that to get into Iraq. 
get all these re- like they wanted these things they, they wanted oil they wanted all sorts of shit right now they're doing it to palestine that's what i was just about to get to too because yeah right now that was the first scare like i feel like it's like and I'm, i feel like we're getting into a conspiracy bag this week right yeah. but like the whole muslim hate thing there was the first the part one was the 9-11 yeah and now the re-up is palestine yeah Pal- yeah free palestine and they're doing the same thing like they're saying oh Hamas has tunnels under the hospital. Mm. Boom. Let's take the hospital out. Oh, Hamas has tunnels in the schools. Boom. Take the schools out. Mm. Brother, at what point are we going to understand that this is ethnic cleansing? These, they are taking, they're take, like, I've seen pictures of young children online that don't deserve to, like, be going through this shit, bro. Yeah. Like, it's, it's sad, you know? It's, it's gruesome, sick, man. It's sickening. And, and they keep saying, oh, release the hostages, release. Bro. Okay, you guys want to fight a, a war with Hamas? Go ahead. Fight that war. Nobody's stopping you guys. But yeah. fighting and carpet bombing like a bunch of like kids, like, yeah. come on, man. That's where like I draw the line, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. That's kind of crazy to me, you know? Because now you got to look at the st- statistics and, bro, over f- like 50 to 60% of people that have died are children. And guess who like uh, the Palestinians need to reproduce? Yeah. Who do they need? They don't need the six year olds. Yeah. They need the children. They need the bro. children. They need the children who are gonna grow up and reproduce. You get what I'm trying to say? So they're trying to kill generations. They're basically. trying to kill generations. You get what I'm trying to say? And and it's crazy that a lot of people can't even speak up about it because you know how you know how that shit goes, you know? Well, fam, like even here, like I feel like we're having a uh, a very in- a very intelligent conversation about it. But mm. as a content creator, I worry because I upload on youtube and yeah. different things like that i and feel like the narrative is changing now though mm-hmm. because i feel like people are t- sick and tired of seeing i feel like like uh certain people that did their jobs in palestine like capturing these moments and capturing what's going on like did a great thing because now like the world because re- back in the day say this was happening in the 1970s right because mm-hmm. that's how long it's been happening like since the nakba days like Long time ago, bro. Yeah, like yeah. it's been going on for ages. But guess yeah. what? They didn't have back then. Social they didn't media. Have social media. Mm-hmm. They didn't have the internet. They didn't have people capture. Now, guess what? These kids, they all have their iPhone 14s. Yeah. Man. So guess what? You're getting caught in 4K, my brother. Yeah. Yeah. Now everything you do is in 4K. So now, like, it's it's these kids are starting to. I, and I feel like my my generation and the generation younger than me. They're they're the ones speaking up like, Mm -hmm. yo, this shit got to stop, you know? But fam, like, you see, like, how we're talking about this stuff now? Yeah. Like, the first time that we had an interview, obviously, we're going to go over your life and, like, do all of the checkmark shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But have you always been thinking this way, fam? Big salute to the sponsors, Diamond Club, with delivery all over the GTA and now all across Canada. They got the best selection of flour, edibles, and pens and all types of goodies that you need. You can find them on their Instagram page, Diamond Club underscore Canada, or you can find them on the 7 Days of Weed app as well as the Leafy Things app. Let them know that you heard about them through the We Love Hip Hop Network and they may give you a discount. Big salute to Diamond Club. Cheer! Or have you just started thinking more like over the years? Yo, I feel like, I swear to God, and it's not only because I'm Muslim. I feel like, like, yo, this time when I saw like kids passing away, like I cried, bro. Mm. You know? And I don't cry. Like when I saw like kids crush under tanks and like kids heads blown off and shit, like I cried, fam. Yeah. Because I'm like, yo, these kids don't, they don't deserve to go through this shit. And it's been going on for so long that it's like. Yo, this shit needs to stop now, you know? Mm-hmm. And I'm getting older too. And like, any any loss of life is not good, you know? Mm-hmm. If this was happening to white people, I promise to God, white kids, I would say the same shit. Yeah. If this was happening to our black brothers, I would say the same shit. You get what I'm trying to say? It don't matter who it's happening to. Mm-hmm. Chinese, Japanese, Korean, white, black. It don't matter. There's children passing away, bro. Yeah. At a very high rate. So... Like, if I don't speak up, then, like, what what am I good for? You know? Yeah, like, yeah. who am I? You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And I've always thought, yeah, like, yeah, like, bro, it's like your moral compass, right? Like, I'm not going to sit here and be quiet. Like, yeah, okay, my social media might get shadow banned, but guess what? People's heads are getting blown off. What matters more, my social media or somebody's 
or 50,000 kids' lives. Like, yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? You know? That's real talk, fam. It don't matter, you know? At the end of the day, like, we're all going to pass away and we're going to, like, this all the shit is temporary. All the social media, all this music. We're all going to be dead soon, bro. You mm. know? Next 60 years, I promise you, all of us in the graves. So guess what? Like, like it shouldn't matter. Like, it, speak up about what's right. And that's really what it is, you know? Yeah, that's real talk right there, fam. And some jewelry. Yeah. So so even for you, even on the life mission, right? Like you're a musician. You're putting yeah. you're putting out a lot of music, right? Mm. Like what's the goal in the back of your mind while you're like you're building the catalog and you're fam, moving around? I just wanna give back when like I just wanna want like when I'm done with all of this, I just wanna go around the world and just give back, start organizations where I can help kids build schools build wells in places there they don't have clean water mm -hmm. that's my goal i don't know how i'm gonna get to it but that's where i see myself in there uh, 20 not even i'll say 10 years yeah that's where i see myself i want to give back i want to help the needy you know mm. i really want to help the needy because when i help people i feel like real like real happiness where i don't really feel every day you know because we live we live in a city where like it's so much low vibration shit going on mm -hmm. that it's like, bro, like I wake up and the first thing you see on your, your post is, yo, this person got shot or this person passed away. Yeah. Or this person's calling out that person. Like, ah, that shit don't even matter, bro. You know? Yeah. I don't see you. I, I see you on the blog some, like for, for things, but yeah. I don't see you on the blog for a lot of, for lack of a better term, opping. Because I don't want to do that. It's so dumb. Like, it's, it's it's like I'm gonna I'm gonna beef you on on the internet for the world to see mm. the police to look at it and put pieces together. Yeah, I'm not only making my life harder. I'm kind of dry ratting on you too. Yeah, it's like you know you get what I'm trying to say. Like <laughs> I didn't like, even think about that. You part. get what I'm trying to say. Like, <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say. Like when I was growing up, the older guys they always told us like, yo. Keep that shit off the internet, you know? Mm. And um, yeah, I get it. It's you you're gonna get your views and stuff, but like you gotta think about long term because the shit is not a race, it's a marathon. Yes. Yes. Because as long as I've been here, I pro I've seen a lot of them come and go, bro. And fam, we're not talking about mad long. Like <laughs> you've been doing your thing. I've been doing my podcast longer than you've been yeah, doing your yeah. thing. <laughs> so, 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 but in Toronto, Toronto rap age, I'm yeah. like a freaking, I've been around. I, I like <laughs> You're an OG uh, now? Yeah, <laughs> like in, Tor in Toronto rap age from 2019 is like, bro, like now it's like, because I seen guys come 2021 and mid 2021, they're gone. Yeah. I seen guys come 2022, not even make it to 2023. And mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, they're hot for a little bit. Yeah, everyone's opt out, you know? But guess what? It don't last, bro. Yeah. And guess who? Like, you're not here no more, brother. You lost. The the, the game is done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Game over. Finito. Like, it's over, brother. Yeah. You get what I'm trying to say? And that's why you don't... You play smart. You got to play smart. <laughs> One thing we were having a conversation, and, and salute to, to, to B3, big salute to DJ Zar, big salute to Dusty Wallace. We were having a, a big combo on the pod the other day. And Keep Six had posted about being a Toronto rapper and don't just look to be a Toronto rapper. Make yeah. sure to go outside of the city and different things like that. Yeah. Because being known as a Toronto rapper could kind of like pigeonhole you, right? It could. There's a roof in Toronto. There's, mm. a, there's a ceiling. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And a lot of artists touch that ceiling. And then it's like, yeah, okay, where do I go next? Okay, for me, I'm Pakistani, right? So I have the whole Punjabi side. I can... Make I can make music there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? Um, you got there's the UK. Yes. There's, there's like people like Killy. There he's doing a whole tour in in Europe right now. Yeah. Amazing. You get know what I'm trying to say? You go around collecting bags. You get know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Shout out to Casper. I see him going around the whole. He was just in Calgary or something Calgary, the other day. Like, yeah. He's just doing like bear. Shout out to Roni, bro. Mm -hmm. Like real shit. Like I'm gonna give all the flowers that these people deserve. Like shout out to Roni. Like yeah. I see him like. Collecting bags from every province, bro. Shout out to you. Yeah. Shout out to AR. Fa 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 shout out to AR. You get what I'm trying to yeah. say? Like, man, we're going around collecting bags from different, different, like, you get what I'm trying to say? Like, I, I just got called out to a Khabib event, the, like, two days ago. 
got paid for it, got to bring somebody like sick. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, Holy like you're on. sitting there, you're sitting there. I gotta put an air horn on that. Yeah. You know, like you're sitting there and you're thinking like, yo, like music did this, you know? Mm-hmm. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, your mind, bro. Facts. Facts. And uh yo, and and another thing I was gonna say is so say you're opt out on Instagram all day, right? Mm-hmm. Do you think they want you there? We're at the shows? No, I like to say a Khabib event. No, you you're they, scary they, now. You're, you're now you're scary. Now you're like now you're not like they don't want they don't want you there, bro. You get what I'm trying? Yo, it's not. I'm not saying don't have beef. It's impossible not to have beef in the city. Yeah, but fam, like you gotta keep it on a very, very, very. You gotta keep it on the lows. Mm -hmm. Almost like nobody knows except for you, your people, their, them, and their people. Yeah, yeah. Like. Not everything has to be televised, bro. You know? Yeah. Like, leave it in the streets, bro. You get what I'm trying to say? That's gangster. No. For, if That's you're really street. gangster, you sh you're supposed to leave it in leave the streets. Leave it in the streets, fam. You know? Because, yeah. Because, trust me, when you go to court and then th those comments start popping up and those, then you're going to regret it like on some like, oh, or like, oh, that was all entertainment. But <laughs> guess what? <laughs> this happened and then you commented this like yeah like they pull up your instagram live on the screen uh, right there like brother 4k brother mm -hmm. like you know and i love all these artists from my city i promise you i want everybody to win bro. yeah you get what i'm trying to say that's why it kind of makes me sad like i see i've i i messed with certain artists and they pass away bro yeah yeah believe it or not like it makes me sad i'm like bro like come on like you couldn't even stay like another year like yeah you know what i'm trying to say or they do a, a bid that's going to be hard to come back from after that many years. Yeah, facts. Like, okay. And just an open question before we go delve back into, like, you as, as the artist, right? Uh -huh. How long do you think an artist has, if they, go, if they go away to jail, to still be able to come back and do a comeback? Uh, honestly, to me, I feel like it all depends on music. And it all depends on... Yo, you got to understand, like, music's not the only thing. Like, you can make your brand bigger than your music. Mm. A lot of people don't understand that, yo, like, once, you, like, you can, you can just be a brand. Yeah. Like, you're just a guy. Like, you don't have to be making music every month. You made your music now. You're a brand. You're doing other shit, bro. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Doing content. You're doing all sorts of other, other sh like, different shit. You're looking for new artists in the city, like that you can put on for. You get what I'm trying to say? Like putting them on paperwork, like different genres, Punjabi music, Spanish music, boom. Like you get what I'm trying to say? So it's not, I feel like if you, if you want to blow in the creative space, like there's always room and there's no age, there's no age limit out here, bro. Like mm. to me, there's no age limit out here. Like I'm 27. You get what I'm trying to say? Like <coughs> I plan to do this shit for like, forever you get what i'm trying to say like yeah if it's not music it's content if it's not content i'm trying to build my brand into some next shit like you know what i'm trying to say it. just mm -hmm. keep going keep going keep going you know just don't stop yeah but full circle now let's say you're an established artist right yeah you're gone now uh -huh. is it five years no i think like 10 the, years no five years like okay long. let's use tory lanes for an example okay he's got a 10 piece now we we, we know he's not going to do the whole 10 yeah. right yeah. He comes back after seven. Is he still going to be as hot? No. Is nah. that too? Why is it too long? Uh, it's too long. People move on. You get a little older. Mm. You get what I'm trying to say. You just gotta learn to like enjoy your what you've built for yourself. Come home. He's independent, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like he has all his his whole catalog. Like he's still making a bag. You know, yeah, like sometimes yeah, yeah. you just gotta learn to just enjoy what God gave you and just be like. Thank God, like I had a crazy ten year run. Like yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Like you don't always bro, like people I see people like get enough artists that are like forty now. You fell off. Brother, he was on for fucking fifteen years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, true. Like, it's true. You have to go down one day. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like you can't stay the hottest forever. Like, yeah. It is impossible to stay the hottest forever. Eventually someone's gonna come around and take that place, you know? So it's yeah. like stop telling 40 year old men you fell off. Like <laughs> or like 35, true. like, bro, that guy's been in the game for freaking 15 years, killing it. And now, okay, yeah, he has a bad six months, a year, 
uh, uh, he his album only does freaking say forty k, which is still amazing. Mm-hmm. Of first week, instead of a million or instead of a hundred thousand, okay, yeah, he fell off. But guess what? Uh, three years ago, his album did freaking four hundred k. How did how did he fall off? Like I don't understand. He was. He's hot, like it's bros. Like I don't even know how to explain this to people. No, no, they want you. They want you to be hot forever, bro. Yeah, like, like we're not like we're human beings, brother. You yeah, know? yeah. Like, it's not like a fairy tale, brother. You know, like eventually you fall off. That's what happens. What goes up comes down. Must come down. It comes down, and it's gonna come down. You know. Yeah. Unless you're Drake. Yeah, he, <laughs> he's been hot forever. Like, <laughs> unless you're Drake, that shit don't apply to Drake. Still, he's kind of an anomaly when it comes to that. Yeah, man. like he he was sounding like crazy. Like, yeah, that man's good at stuff. Speaking of Drake, I yeah. like I have my questions here, but like we're just talking. Bro. Uh-huh. Um, two things. Speaking of Drake, uh-huh. after the Drake follow, did you get any conversations? Yeah, like like not like full on conversation, mm-hmm. but yeah, we talk. and we don't have to go to the content yeah, 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 of the yeah, conversation. Yeah, 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 But like there was combo. Yeah, 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 back and forth. Yeah, good, sure. good, yeah, good, good, sure. good. Yeah. Also with Drake, you seen what happened when the whole viral thing? It kind of took the whole city by storm uh-huh. when he jumped in the comments yeah. under the We Love Hip Hop page. Go, go follow yeah. We Love Hip Hop Network yeah, on uh, Instagram, that. and he said, if Pressa and Doovy do a tune together, he'll do on he'll jump on the collab. Yeah. A whole bunch of like back and forth started like people on one side saying, nah, you know, hold your integrity. And then other people like, no, this is a this is an alley-oop. Do it. What's your side on that? Utopia. An imagined place or state of things in which everything is perfect. But here in our utopia, nothing is beyond your imagination. We offer an enhanced recording experience located in the Eastern Toronto. With professional quality recording, mixing, and mastering, we believe that every artist deserves an experience nothing short of utopia. To experience your own state of utopia, visit utopiarecords.ca to lock in your time today. Okay, so yo, my take on this is like, yo, people forget to understand that as an artist, so you're from a hood, right? Yo, if you, you're, yeah, yeah, you do that song, but guess what? You're going to have to answer to freaking a lot of people. Yeah. People who've lost their brothers, people who've lost their sons. You're going to have to answer to a lot of people, especially when you're in jail. Okay. Say for instance, like, yeah, you do the song. Okay. Fam, you're on a range full of like spillers mm-hmm. that don't care about music, bro. Yeah. So you, we, we got to learn to understand like we care about music, right? Fam, some people don't give a fuck about music. Their life is not going to change if you do like, the tr- it, feature. Like it, like it don't matter. Like, yeah, what? So uh, you think I care about your song? I don't care about your song. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to say I care about my bro that passed, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's what matters to them. So it's like, uh, it's like. I don't even know why that was even like, a, I don't know, man. Like, to be honest, I don't want to sound like a, like a, oh yeah. Like I, I'm all for pushing peace. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? And like everybody just getting along and, and shit. But I just feel like, I just feel like it's too much. Like, I feel like d- that happening would just bring so much like other shit. Yeah. Into play. Like it would be hard. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. You know, but both of them deserve their own, um, their own feature. Their own feature, yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. I think it was good intentions. It was just, good intentions. No. Just wrong move. Like slightly, yeah. like not a completely wrong move, but just yeah. like a slightly like yeah. wrong worded move type yeah, of thing. Yeah, it was definitely good intentions because you got to understand like he he wrote it out of love, right? Mm-hmm. Like he wrote that shit out of love. Like yeah. I got you guys, you get what I'm trying to say? So it, it was definitely from a good place. It's just, yo, we live in a very toxic city, bro. Yeah. Like, we ju- we're just from a very, like, toxic city, like, mm-hmm. you know? And it's always going to be contrary. Like, I seen that shit happening, and then all of a sudden, it turned into some, like, crazy shit. Like, everybody's dissing each other. Yeah. And everybody's getting at each other. I'm like, this started with peace. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I'm like, I'm like, this was supposed to be Twitter about- Twitter spaces, all I'm that like, shit. I'm like, this was about to be about peace, and mm-hmm. it just turned into some straight up, like, like, just- crazy shit you know that's uh, toronto for you though yeah, bro. yeah yeah man but well listen man salute to all parties involved fam like we you know we 
like like you said, we're we're making music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, facts. Also, when I'm watching your shows, bro, the first time I seen you perform, actually, the first time I seen you perform was the Rolling Loud. But the first time I seen you perform like in a venue is when you opened for um, A.R. Paisley the like last yeah. year. It yeah. was summertime, I yeah. think, right? Yeah. So, in my opinion, you look like you were still getting used to the stage. So you, let me How's tell you, what, let me tell you what happened that day. Mm. I, I go to I go to do sound check. I do sound check. Okay, we're done. We we did sound check. Boom, boom, boom. I go home. I come back. All right, I'm waiting. I'm there upstairs, you know, having fun. All right, I'm up next. I go. I'm in the back room. I'm in the green room. I'm waiting. He calls me out. My mic's missing. Holy shit. <laughs> my mic's missing. Mm-hmm. That The one I did all my, my fucking auto tune. The one that you did a sound check with, yeah. Sound check with. My auto tune, my fucking mic's missing. Yeah. So now I have to grab a random ass mic, get on stage, and now I'm already pissed off because I'm like, how the f- does my mic go missing? Yeah. So now I'm already like, it just started off bad. So I was like, you know what? Not the best day, you know? Mm-hmm. And, um, uh, and yeah, like after that day, like I was making sure like my mic's never missing, bro. You know? <laughs> Are you like, because this stage is to this rap shit, right? Like being a, a, a complete yeah. artist. And I feel like you're now getting into the n- different levels of it now. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like at first, you know, you're putting up YouTube videos, yeah. sound, SoundCloud and, you know, Spotify, yeah, yeah. whatever. It's whatever. But now you're getting to that stage. Like, yeah, like you got to perfect the stage yeah, show. Are yeah. you practicing at yeah, home yeah, doing different like. I have like we have like rehearsal rooms that we're going into now, like before. Sick. Before, like if if, I, if I'm performing, like we just performed the other day and like we had a whole rehearsal, like ting one and, you know, mm. to rehearse and shit. Yeah, I take this shit serious, like because people are paying to come and see you like you might as well just give them a good show, you know? Yeah. But people still got to understand like where. I'm I'm like still learning as I go by, you know. Mm-hmm. So don't expect me to go on stage and be on some like a uh, Playboy Cardi shit because <laughs> I'm I'm runner, brother. You get what I'm trying to say? So I'm still getting used to it. No, 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 not your your Playboy Cardi was runner on stage at one point in time. Facts, 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 facts. And, and I'm still getting used to it, and and I'm trying my best, and I'm and I'm trying to make it happen, you know. Mm-hmm. And we rehearse at before our shows and and that's what it is you know no that's dope man i i, I love to see the um the, the progression bro it's, i appreciate it bro yeah man um also you know while i'm surfing the net i see you have this t-shirt views from thorncliff not the one you're wearing now <laughs> but you had a t-shirt with views from says views from thorncliff who's the person on the t-shirt views from thorncliff yeah I think it was um uh um I think it was a song no it was a it was a song name but you had like a guy on a t-shirt Oh 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 I know what you're talking about okay so yo that's that's his his name is Imran Khan right Okay so yo I'm I'm kind of like big on like politics in Pakistan mm. because I want to see my country like get better and like you know what I'm trying to say because there's so much corruption going on and like my, my I have a lot of family back home and that guy's the guy who's like here to save my home country. Yeah. And he just got jailed for like 14 years and like a bunch of shit over just some like they're just trying to take him out. Anybody good we get that that's actually trying to save the country. Mm-hmm. They just try to throw them out. So he got jailed on some like he had a watch um, he got as a gift from like somewhere in England. And and he sold in this this said on this said he was scamming or some I don't know what it was and he got jailed for fourteen years over that. That's and crazy. And this guy's like the prime minister. Um, my dad loves him. I love him. So it's like a family thing. You get what I'm trying mm-hmm, to say. So I'm mm-hmm. like, let me raise some awareness. You get what I'm trying to say. Shout him out. Shout him out. Yeah, man. Shout out Imran Khan. You know, I K. You know, what I mean P T I. Imran Khan, man. P T I. Yeah, P T I. Um, that's the party. You, you get what I'm trying to say. And um, yeah, they're there to save the country, man. You know. Yeah, man. And and there's another thing I was watching, and this is not related to you on your Instagram. We brought it up on the podcast at one point. There's this movie. It got shut down in like four different theaters. It was like a Bollywood movie. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm talking I, I, about, fam? I heard, I heard about it. Okay. Talking to somebody from the community. Yeah. Because we're just speculating on the pod, fam. Well, it could have been because of this, could have been because of this. Yeah. We don't have no idea. Why do you think they shut down this movie, fam? 
And we went watch the trailer. The trailer looked like a like Yo, a gladiator is like an Indian I think, gladiators. I think I'm not Indian, but I think um I'm Pakistani, so I'm but, not really like, captain. But I think it was like um a re- something to do with religion, where like they probably disrespected like um uh one one religion and the other religion didn't like it, so they started like kind of protesting about it, mm-hmm. and and they had to kind of remove the movie because that happens a lot. Like sometimes they'll even make like yo one one thing I I, I don't like is every time anybody makes a movie about Muslims, we're blowing something up. Mm. We're going to the train station with a backpack. Why are you guys always make us in the movies look like the bad guys? Like, what the hell? Like, it's propaganda, you know? bro. Yeah, like, I don't like that. It's like, every time I see a, a movie and there's a guy about to go do some ca- cause a massacre or something, he happens to be wearing a topi and, and, uh, and a juba. And it's like, bro, come on, man. Like, change the narrative now you know we're good people we don't boom 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 we're good people it, like, it goes back to we what don't i was always saying boom 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 every everything like <laughs> you get what i'm trying to say like stop making it look like we just boom boom everything like we don't do that we're good people but it goes back to what i was saying before with the 9-11 thing uh-huh. post 9-11 they started using muslims as the bad guys in the movie yeah pre 9-11 like because i'm an old head yeah. so like, in the 80s and 90s is to always have the Russians, like in the American movies. Russians were the bad guy. Russians were right? the bad guy, yeah. down to Rocky, all of that, right? Yeah. So they choose who's the bad guy. Yes. Like every every couple uh, de- decades, they choose the, bla- the the bad guys, you mm-hmm, know? Mm-hmm. So now, yeah, the Muslims are bad guys. You get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, cool. Um, it is what it is. Guess what? You guys don't like us. I don't like you, <laughs> you know? If you don't like me, I don't like you. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. There's a lot of things I can say about you guys too. You know, how about we make some movies about school shootings and make the white guy play the freaking. <laughs> That's not going to happen. How about we make a movie where a school gets shot up and the white guy is playing the white and main character? Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah, make yeah, that yeah. happen. How come I don't see a movie like that? Dylan Roof movie. Is there actually one? No. <laughs> yeah, like where is the movie? They got little documentary pieces and but stuff. But I can show you 10 movies where the Muslim guy is going into the subway station. I yeah. promise you, from Bollywood to Hollywood. But guess what? I've never seen one movie where the white guy is going into the school with an AR-15. Yeah. And they got enough movies with, with for, Yo, for your brothers. Yo, all the directors in Toronto. Let's get it. Yeah. Let's get it. I'll make the script. How about that? That would be a controversial I'll movie, bro. I'll make the script. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a movie about a white guy shooting up a school yeah. made by a Muslim man. <laughs> <laughs> made, made, made by runner. <laughs> Made by made by runner, yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. That's yeah. that's the headline. Yeah, how, how about yo, uh, off topic. Yeah, yeah. But yo, let's talk about what's the drama that's been going on with you. Big salute to Steam and Hot Grabber with a variety of different grabber flavors and dispensers. They got red rose grabber, that red herring grabber, and peanut butter. Hit them up on their Instagram page, Steaming Hot Grabber, and use the code We Love Hip Hop and receive a discount on your order. Again, you can find them on Instagram, Steaming Hot Grabber. Now let's get back to the show. Gia. <laughs> in the same, let's talk about the drama that's been going on with you. In the which city, which right? one, bro? I'm like just like you. I got multiple dramas, bro. Like like yeah, facts. So I feel like I'm like when you're like somebody who's like uh uh like has a little following, you get what I'm trying to say, like it comes with it, you know? Mm-hmm. Like you we're in the uh public eye, you know? We check mark gang, bro. Yeah, yeah we check mark gang. <laughs> All right, so yo, th- th- so obviously there's some um like CUGK, he's been going around saying Okay, so this and I'll and I'll premise this quick fast. Facts. This because we pre record these interviews and come out later, I'm gonna clip this and put this out now. Okay. <laughs> okay. What happened with them is their page got a bunch of strikes. Okay. They hit me up and said, "Bro, could they see my name, my my gubby on it?" Yeah. Said, "Fam, how you strike me?" Yeah. Here's the thing: I never sent them no strikes. I'm not saying I'm against sending out strikes. <laughs> okay. 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 I've sent out strikes, and the people who got their strikes, just wait for it. <laughs> okay i'm not all against right. it all right, cool. but if the only reason i'll strike somebody is if you use like us having this combo here uh-huh. and you don't freaking tag we love hip-hop or tag tag me or s- s- like fam right. they're using interviews and not giving me the the, the 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 tag yeah the people who i did strike okay okay now canadian underground kings never did that okay they got hit with one strike that i never sent them and so, then they got hit with three more mm-hmm. after they blocked me. 
Okay. So do you think that somebody is using your name to strike? I know somebody is using my name because when I went to go retract the strikes, because we finally got to an agreement where I'll take the strikes away. Okay. Right? Huh? Boom. I go to take the strikes away. They say, you're not authorized to take these strikes away. Ah. I start looking deeper into the paperwork now. Mm. The person's name on it. Yes, it's my first so and last name. There's a whole disclosure. <laughs> yes, I have the receipts. <laughs> there's a whole disclosure. Yeah. All right, all right, okay. But my Friday is in the middle as the middle name. My middle name, not Friday, fam. It's like, it's not my real name. Friday's oh. not my real name. So they're trying to frame you. So why would that be in my gubby? Two. The email address attached. Uh-huh. I'll, I could say it public. It said Derek Jones, one, two, three, four, five, blah, blah, like some, some weird. Yo, yo, one of you hackers. <laughs> somebody yo, out there impersonating one me, of you, bro. Ha- no, one of you hackers. We need you to decode this email, Derek Jones. Derek Jones, one, two, three, four, five, nine, eight, seven at gmail.com. Do a reverse search and find yeah. who that is. Yo, yo, one of you hackers from the city. I know one of you guys out there can do it. Please go and find Derek Jones. We need Derek Jones because their Derek Jones is framing Friday. And he got their page packed out. And the thing is, it'd be one thing if we could just find a way that like we could have resolved it like right away. Mm-hmm. But this motherfucker went on a tirade for 72 hours, bro. Mm-hmm. Made all kind of memes. Put the honey pot on my head, fam. The honey pot, bro. Oh, Not the honey pot. When you get the honey pot, fam, you know, fam. You've seen the honey pot. When you see it online, you're like, oh, not here. <laughs> <laughs> Not the honey pot. You know when the honey pot is out, bro. Honey pot. Nah, not the honey pot. You gotta just bro. shake your head at, the, at your phone and be like, not nah, him, bro. The honey pot is crazy. Yes, bro. fam. They gave me the honey pot is probably the worst thing. Like, yes, the bro. Now, once you get the honey pot, it's like, but yo, I, I it's it's kind of you know why I kind of like understand is because I, I'm not gonna play like I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna speak for like both sides. Mm. I, I feel I feel for him because. His page was at 65,000. 65K. 65,000 followers is a lot of followers to lose. So I understand like uh, the the like the like anger he might be feeling right now. Mm-hmm. And maybe like you you say, yes, yeah, it's, it's not you. But in his head, may, he thinks that. You There's know? nothing else but he can think yeah, that yeah, it's yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, so that's why he's like probably directing all his anger at you. You get what I'm trying to say? That's fine. It's not but fine. But not the honey pot. No, no. Even the honey pot, I'll deal with that. Okay. What's not fine okay. is when all your little cronies and all your little boyfriends start joining in and doing collabo posts. That's not fine. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Right. It's one thing because he has a reason to be mad. And we now have an understanding that it's not me. But all you other you guys were waiting to find something to like, let's go yeah. Friday K on this guy. Yeah, I guess I feel like those guys are Friday K still. Fam. The, now that we know that it's not me, yeah. I got to see yo, everybody's yo, real feelings, yo, how, bro. Okay, yo, how about this? Do you think you would ever be able to like, like if it, like clear it up with like the thing, like the Der- Derek Jones stuff? If listen, bro, I like not even in, in the public side. No, like, but say like the you thing. and you and Cugk in private that you can make him. Um, uh, you can make him understand that yo here you don't have to do it for the public because you don't want they know already also, also they know they know as we're having this conversation I've we've I've spoken to multiple of these blog pages yeah. the ones that were speaking on his behalf because he ain't got no page oh no he has he has one right now well I didn't oh yeah okay okay I, I'm blocked from all their pages bro okay okay yeah they're probably like scared they probably think Friday's no from the t- from the day that he sent me the first thing he blocked me yeah okay so I don't talk to him. I talk to the other guys who do, do collaborations with and stuff, right? Like, like my, he, I can't lie. I, I fuck with those kids. I can't lie because they've always dealt with me uh, righteous. Like same way as you've always dealt with me righteous. Yeah. That's why I mess with you too, you know? That's why I'm not, I'm not like trying to take no sides here. You got mm. to say, but I believe you. I, if you say that you didn't do what you did, I don't think you have a reason to lie, you know? Fam, the proof's in the pudding. It's like literally on the paperwork. And if you're saying, yeah, you've sent them like an email. Yeah. Then yeah. Um, but yeah, like 65K, I feel for him too, you know? Mm-hmm. Shout out to him because uh, he he was doing... Like, we got to understand, these are people that are all trying to help the city, posting artists, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Posting our music, posting our content. 
So they're trying to uplift the city. Same way as with you. You you post the city. Mm -hmm. You you uplift the, the community. No, no. I post the city, but I actually sit and talk with the artist. Yeah, facts. Okay. That's facts. a whole different thing. Facts. I put up lights. There's a camera here. There's mics, everything. Facts. Okay. Space. Uh, yeah, yeah, facts. facts. It's, I, it's different than sitting... I, I then then afterwards I'll sit in my home or in my room and then post a clip of this shit that we just produced. Facts, okay. I That's mean, a whole yeah, different yeah, yeah, story. Yeah, yeah, facts, facts. So if you go and then you use the shit that I done produced, edited all that shit, and then don't tag me, eat a dick. Okay, I get where you're coming from over there. Still, um, the other shit where like you you know some rapper dissing me or. A, a blog dissing me. I don't care, fam. That actually yeah. brings me more attraction. Yeah. So yeah. I'll never report that. And if I was to report it, it wouldn't be copyright. Yeah. It'd be harassment. It wouldn't be copyright. It would be harassment. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So the, this guy, Derek Jones, he filed yo, four Derek copyrights. Jones. Yo, Derek Jones, bro. Like, whoever you are, <laughs> whoever you are, Derek Jones, that's not right, Derek Jones. I got a sound effect for him. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yo a anyways a shout out to you shout out to them too you no, know salute to you, I, hope, bro. I hope you guys all resolve your problems you get what i'm trying to say yeah. um and i hope like everybody just finds uh like a neutral point where yeah, listen fam we, we can resolve the problem right? we just don't have to be friends facts I, I, and i agree with you i agree with you on that there's a lot of people that i i am not friends with but if i see them in um public where it's like, it's it's like yeah it is what it is you know yeah, we don't, we're, but, we're men. We don't have to see like. But you can eye. see they're in public because you know what they look like. Yeah, yeah. These guys would have any of the people, like any of the blog people that I've had issues with. Yeah. They'd have to come up to me and let me know that they who they are. Yeah. Right. Because yeah. they could recognize me, but yeah. I don't know who they are. Do you ever feel like. OK, I have a question for you. Mm -hmm. Do you ever feel like. um Nervous. Like. Because everybody knows your face and like say like you're like. um like say like you have tension with uh people do you ever feel like yeah your face is burnt in the city because it is i feel like everybody knows you mm. so do you ever feel like a little um like a little nervous that yo everybody knows my face and because like shit happens you know nervous is not really what i feel okay what do you feel i feel more like on guard Right? Like, your like I, I, I go out on reg like I'm in the shoppers drug mart. I'm in the gym. I'm outside all the time, and I bump into people and stuff like that. But I'm my my head is always on a swivel, and uh, weirdly enough, I'm always looking for like who I kind of profile as my demographic, yeah. and then I just keep to see make sure what their eyes are doing. You know I what I'm saying? Lie. The most people I run into is at the gym. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's facts. Yeah, actually, that's why, that's why I, I like going at like. Late, I like going late night mm. because like gym is a very and it's like everybody is just like trying to act like they're like dogged out and it's like bro like you guys are pups I hate the gym sometimes because it's like so much like guys are just trying to act so tough and shit like buddy yeah. sit down you know like well I gotta ask you the same question that you asked me yeah. like fam like yeah. you're you got I don't got a million views on my shit, bro. You yeah. you're walking around with over a million views on no, music you have videos. A million, you have accumulated accumulated, over, yes, yeah, a lot more than a million views. But and like, yo, I don't feel like numbers justify the impact somebody's had on the city. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. Because if you go into the older videos of all the guys that really started rapping in Toronto, yeah, some of those views are only at like 40k, 50k. Yeah, but those songs were hits in the city yeah so that's why i don't really watch like no because i've seen guys with a million monthly listeners and they're nobodies yeah yeah and then i've seen a guy with like 200 uh, k monthly listeners and he's a guy mm -hmm. you know so it's like numbers, it's all, yeah numbers to me is not like the biggest thing it's like who it's like are you ha, what what's the impact you've made the in impact the city, yeah you know? yeah what's the impact you really made in the city you get what i'm trying to say so it's like Numbers, I don't watch that shit no more like that. It's like who you are as a person and how many, how much people you've touched. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You get what I'm trying to say? So you, like, obviously, like, you've been around for, you've seen, so, like you said, you how many artists you've seen come and go, bro? <sighs> Dozens, bro. How many, like, stars, like, real, like, they were probably going to be stars, you seen? No, like, no, they were stars. They were a star, but they were going to go higher and higher. You yeah, know yeah, yeah. I've seen some people who have had record deals, major deals. Yeah. And they just kind of not fell off, but like the, 
they're not the, they're not the talk of the town no more. Yeah, uh, like I said, people get old. People have their yeah. run. People have their runs. Sometimes you gotta learn to enjoy your run and find peace with it instead of just trying to keep doing it and 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 ruining your legacy and what you've built for yourself. Mm-hmm. Just take it, hug it, embrace it, and live with it. Be happy with it and move on. Don't drag it out sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because once you start dragging it out, then it's like people start looking at you a little weird. Then are you really a guy? Are you really a sick man? Maybe not because now you're just like begging it. You're holding on. You're not doing things on your own terms. If you have to do it when you're a super old, like you have to have to do it. Yeah, like exactly. You're not living life on your own terms anymore. So you can't boast and big up your chest like you're the guy. Yeah, facts. Like, learn to you're live. a slave to that yeah. at this point. If 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 it didn't, if it's not working out like super crazy anymore, fam, it's okay. You had a great five, ten year run. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Like you had a great time, and especially this is for the guys who are actually making money too. Like like they're making money not from music, other yeah. things. You know, like fam, come on. Like you're living a good life now. Like you don't you don't have to be trying to push it now you know yeah I understand if you have passion for music yeah i'm not here i can't sit here and just speak like yeah i don't like i don't have passion for me like if you have passion for music and that's what you love doing by all means but have different expectations i feel though. like a lot of guys are just doing it for like clout like yes there's no like passion behind it you know you can go you could be making music till you're 80 but don't expect when you drop when you're don't be mad when you're and you're when you're okay i'm pushing it 50 you could be pushing music in your 50s, but don't be mad when you're not the shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Have different expectations as you get older. Yeah, and I feel like people in our city are growing old. But um, my bad. That's Reed calling me. My my guy, Reed, King B Productions. Give him oh. a... Give him a... Yeah, 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 yeah. Give, <laughs> yes. give him a, a sound. Hold yeah. on. Oh, shit. Yo. Yo, King B, pull up, man. Yo, King B, King B. That's my dog still. Um, we need you, bro. Yeah, okay. Um, give me one second. You might want need to get him on the phone. Okay. Um. Okay, where were we? Friday. Like with these people getting older, the different expectations that they might have. Guys trying to do the, you know, trying to hold on just for the clout. Like I feel like yo. I feel like the older you get, you can keep making music, but your mindset has to change a little bit too. Like mm-hmm. you gotta like yeah, start acting like your age, bro. Yes. Stop acting like you're still 17, my brother. Mm-hmm. You know, like mm-hmm. you're not 17 anymore. You got you're older a little bit, you know, like act your age now. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, yeah, there's a lot of people looking up to you, like act your age, you know? Don't act 17 no more. Like, come on, bro. That's why you I know? podcast, bro. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> act your age a little bit, you know. Yeah, you fam. can still make music, but just act your age. But fam, like, yes, you can still make music. I'm in my later 40s now. Yeah. Okay. Imagine I was still rapping now and not podcasting. Yeah, it would be a little weird. It would be weird. I get the yo, you're old head podcaster all the time, fam. You know who I look up to in podcasting? Joe Budden. Besides him, the other Joe. Joe Rogan. Exactly. I love that nigga's that like stuff. 60. I love his podcast. Exactly, fam. I, I, I learned him. from listening to his pod how to have real pods, bro. I love his podcast. So I you're going to tell him he's too old? N- no, fam. Honestly, he just got a million, the 250 million like three years ago, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. And yo, podcasting is a thing where like it's it's when you're older, you chill, you kick up and you talk, you shit, bro. Like, yeah. Yeah. You know I would love to podcast. Like when I when I'm older, yeah, the f- bring me the mic, bring me the cameras. I'm Fam. podcasting, Broski. You know the amount of stories that you're going to be able to tell when you get older yeah. and you get past the stat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yo, fam, I'm I'm having a great time. I'm able to tell some of my old stories yeah. from like 15 years ago when I was really in these streets. Yeah. And not get in trouble for them, fam. Yeah, fact. You know what I'm saying? Fact. You gotta be a little careful. Though. I still, fam, but like be I ain't hurt little, nobody. Be a little, yeah. <laughs> right? Be a little careful. I do. Though, I am I? careful, but like, fam, yeah. if you know, I, I went away for a lot of shit. I could tell you, the stories happened, now. What happened with that guy? Uh, that guy who killed Tupac? They say. 
Oh, Keefy D. Keefy D. Like, <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to Keefy D myself. Keefy D thought he was safe, you know? <laughs> Keefy D thought he was safe until the feds came knocking on his door. Yeah, you know? but he murk pot. Bro. Yeah. Or he allegedly is people's murk pot. I don't even think he did it. I think he was just talking about it. Or his people did, I think. Yeah, you know? he was in the car. You said he had he handed the gun to his, his Yo, his, I don't understand. Like his nephew. Did you think that like after like 30 years that yo, like it like it just vanishes, like the f- case file? Bro, it's still there. <laughs> no, there's, and there's no statute waiting. of limitation on murder. Fam. Yeah, like they're it's still forever. waiting, bro. Like who do, if I was his friend and he did that and he, he, I'm the one who did it, bro. <laughs> Are you crazy for podcasts for a little like you're getting a little change to run the podcast? You're dumb. Bro. Yeah, probably less than 30 racks, bro. Yeah. Yo, let me ask you this question as a you're more than just a drill rapper, but you've made drill rap before. I have. Right? Uh-huh. But in general, as somebody who's made drill rap, why do artists make drill rap? I feel like for me, when I started, I was coming from a different like headspace and and I feel like it's the things we grow up around sometimes, you know, and mm-hmm. that's what we listened to when we grow when we were growing up. That's what we listened to. The yeah. er, the er, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm trying to say so. It's like that's the first thing that came to our minds when we hit the studio. Mm-hmm. It wasn't I'm gonna go to the studio and go la 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 la. <laughs> like yeah. it's like the opposite. <laughs> you, you get in the studio, you go yeah, yeah. You know, like that right there. Like I'm not getting in the studio and just going la 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 la. Because I wasn't fa la 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 lying. Like, I yeah. was, you know, we got it. We went to the studio with the mandem. Yeah, and it's the first thing on your mind, it's probably. It's the first too. thing on your mind. You're trying to get shit off your chest. You're a kid. Yeah. Now it's like, I'm grown. I'm, I'm like, getting wiser. So now I want to make music, like, like, uh, like, whatever I'm feeling, you know? And experiencing, experiencing too. Experiencing, too. Like, whatever, wherever I'm traveling. Like, I'm making music. I'm writing there. Like, whatever, whatever's going on in my life. Whatever good thing's going on in my life. That's what's going write on. Write it bro. down. Write yeah, it down. That's what's going on, you know? Um, speaking of to travels, and we're we're gonna be we're wrapping up soon because uh-huh. we're like about an hour in. We 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 are having some good combo here. You said traveling. Are, have you done the UK trips and stuff like that yet? I, I've been to the UK, yeah. Nice, I've nice, been to nice. The UK. I didn't really like the UK. I didn't I didn't like the weather. Um, I didn't like um how congested it is. It's definitely the music scene over there is insane though. Mm. Um, I was just in Cuba two months ago, three months ago. Okay. I hated the food. Um, <laughs> it's a thing. It's a thing. Yeah, I did not like the food. I actually went alone too. Really? I just got up and I just went, you know? Because, yeah, I was just like, bro, I was so tired of the weather. I'm like, I just got to go, you know? So I just booked That's my ticket and dope. I, yeah, I left. It was fun. I had so much fun alone. Like, That's I had, dope. Yeah, I went, I went alone. Like, I would go somewhere alone again. I did that for Dominican Republic. Yeah, I would go alone for sure. I yeah. don't mind at all. So, um, yeah, I recommend I recommend traveling alone to any. I'm going to Saudi Arabia in nice. September um, for religious reasons. And then I'm going to go to Pakistan, my home country. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, try shooting some shit over there, you know. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's, that's it for now, you know. I have a lot of other personal things going on in my life right now that I don't even want to speak on the podcast. No, no, no. But, um, yeah, like a lot of personal shit, you know? So I'm busy with that, you yeah. know? You can give me those headphones. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of personal shit going on. So, mm-hmm. yeah. um, Yeah, man, just trying to live and let live, brother. Hey, listen, man, I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of just the progression that you've been having over your career, bro. It, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like every time I have another conversation with you, I'm seeing you get more mature, bro. And I'm watching you like having conversations on other platforms and shit. Yeah. Giving like not just hot takes, like intelligent takes, fam. Yeah. So like keep doing that and put that shit into the music, bro. I appreciate it, bro. Thank you very much. And it's just like I appreciate like the supporters. I have this little cult fan base that Mm -hmm, always mm -hmm. rocks with me. And Mm -hmm. I just want to like say thank you to them. I want to say thank you to all the blogs that keep posting me, like, you know, that's that supported me over the years. Like Keep Six, you, Kenzo, CUGK, Hotspot, all you guys, like Real Toronto News, like, I love all you guys, you know? I love mm-hmm. all you guys the same. You get what I'm trying to say? That's why when you guys fight, I'm like, why you guys fighting? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm say? Listen, fam. This is I'm, the city. We're the city, you know? We'll make peace. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm all about the peace, yeah. bro. I'm all about the peace, but uh, like, like I said, we just don't yeah, have to be friends. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Yeah, saw you, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah. Roadrunner in the building. Runner. 
Listen, man, I really enjoyed this conversation we had here. Yeah. Um, what do you got coming up next? Um, I have a so Ramadan's coming up, obviously. Mm -hmm. Um, yo, I have I had I had a song uploaded with Bebo Drill Doc. Okay. He passed away. R.I.P. Uh, yesterday. So I'm gonna have to. I was talking to his family, so I'm taking that down and re-uploading it back for after Ramadan. Mm -hmm. Um, I have another single coming out after Ramadan, so that's really about it. I have two singles right after Ramadan in April, and then hopefully we can drop a tape this year if everything's looking good. Dope, 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 dope. Um, I'm gonna take us out here with a track here. Um, pronounced this here for me, Nakhar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did Nakre. I pronounce that right? Yeah, that's that's one of the uh, <laughs> that's one, Nakre, Yeah, that's one of the uh, Punjabi songs I did, and it's been doing crazy numbers. It charted, okay. it charted in Pakistan. Um, mm. and we have a part two that we have recorded that's coming out also. Fam, I just looked at the number right now. I'm like, holy. <laughs> That's, it's only it's only been two months. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, it's only been two months for that song. So That's sick, fam. Yeah, it's only been two months. So, oh, man. Thank salute you, to man. you for that, bro. Appreciate it, brother. Um, Quick thing before we get out of here. Big salute to the sponsors, Diamond Club. Hit them up on their Instagram, Diamond Club underscore Canada. Big salute to Steaming Hot Grabba. Hit them up on their Instagram page, Steaming Hot Grabba. And uh, yeah, man, I'm going to take us out here with... Uh, I, I'm going to take us out here with Nakta. We love hip-hop. Hip -hop. Hip -hop.